Hey the berries, hope you're doing well. We're doing an unranked diamond episode on stream. Um mainly because I need to make up some stream hours because I haven't really I don't feel like I've streamed that much league uh recently. Um but and also I wanted to kind of make league content, so I thought hey, hit hit two birds with one stone, right? Uh we're gonna be doing a di uh well the unranked diamond climb. Um but I will make it pretty clear, there's already four masters uh, in this game. <laughs> We've got three masters on our team. Any team has one. Um, so, I mean, this account, the the account I'm on right now is in plat two. Um, we're basically nearing the very end of the climb. So I'm becoming a little bit more relaxed about it. Like if we go straight up 50% win rate, we're going to walk in, into diamond pretty comfortably and easily. I'm not overly too concerned. Um, on the Bizzleberry account, the label, the one that's just called Bizzleberry, um, I think I've so far hit peak around about 111, 100, well, no, I think it was a bit more than that, 120 ish, let's just say 120 LP on that account um, on the US. So on the whole, I'm not like, I'm not really feeling like I'm climbing. I don't know if it has anything to do with the extra uh, LP gains and losses that they've introduced. Oh, hey. Um, how does he know I mean? Your dad is a big fan. Oh. Cool. He has a dad. That's more than what I have. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, not many people know I play on this account. Um, that's kind of funny. What was it? I was kind of lost track of what I was saying. But yeah, I don't know. I don't really feel like... I'm not like Giga tryharding in terms of like wanting to climb. I've kind of lost that kind of mentality of wanting to be the very best. That no one ever was. Um... But yeah, I don't know, I've lost kind of all motivation in terms of like grinding out the highest DLP that I can over like just chilling and actually trying to enjoy the game when I'm in the games. Um, also, kind of read a Twitter thread for today as well about how the mouse, if you don't know him, he plays like inting sign top and stuff. How he on his private account has, I think it's 1.2k LP. On his uh, non-streaming account, on his streaming account, he's like 200 LP a master. So, um, you know, maybe if I wasn't trying to be more interactive in terms of like talking and reading chat and doing things like that, maybe I'd be a bit higher in LP. Maybe I probably would care a little bit more about like maybe hitting maybe like at least Grandmaster or something. But the, honestly, there's just the motivation isn't really there. In order to like go crazy on the climb, once you hit master, you're already kind of like top. Let's just say like top one percent of of league. Um, there aren't really any bonus rewards for climbing um, higher than the master. Really, in in challenger, I think you can get a personalized uh, recall, um, but that's really about it. Uh, also, mainly playing Yumi this game, mainly to test out her nurse on the Q damage and on the the slow. That's one of the main reasons why I'm kind of testing it right now, but also it's the first game for me for today, so I'm just kind of like... I'm just vibing right now. We are going to get ganked, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaiser had to blow both of her defensive summoners. We just chill. I mean, this is basically the most me uh, the motto right now. It's the motto right now, right, chat? And everyone watching this on YouTube. Uh, it's the motto of jungle just camping the, the absolute hell out of bot lane. And... Um, they are looking to change that a little bit again in 13.6. They've been honestly trying to change this for patch after patch with no success. I think they're trying to nerf the dragons to try and make it like so there's a little bit less fixation on the actual bot lane itself. But we shall see. Um. Other kind of news, I, I've been kind of like ref self-reflecting a lot in my content the last couple of months or so. Um, for the majority of you, like 
probably aren't aware. I think I've mentioned it only once or twice, a couple of times on stream. Um, the ad incentive program on Twitch was a good way to have like guaranteed income. On um, what am I doing here? Actually, we'll do Luden still. Uh, it was a good way to have like guaranteed income uh, because it'd be like, you know, you're gonna get this amount of revenue per month, kind of like no matter what, as long as you stream X amount of hours. Uh, and March the 15th, which is tomorrow for me, they're changing it to kind of more estimates and stuff. But I haven't picked up the Ad Incentive program the last couple of months because honestly, it was like six to nine minutes of adverts per hour. And the amount of money from it was just, it was really, really, really bad. It was like $400 to do like six minutes of adverts on, on my streams per hour for like 150 hours or something. Basically, the, the the stick short stick of it is spam my viewers with adverts and basically get no money for it. So you can see that the the, the trade off wasn't really there. So I haven't actually picked it up the last three times, and um, yeah, like I, I yet yeah, last February was my lowest Twitch earnings I've had for since I've become a partner, I think. Um, so it's kind of made me kind of rethink about what I want to do in terms of everything. Um, so I'm, I'm still kind of in like the, the thinking stages of things right now. Um, I might start leaning a bit more into YouTube for the first time in a very long time. Uh, YouTube, I would have earned more money on YouTube than Twitch. So, yeah, I don't know. It's a little bit of a concerning time for me. I don't know if I want to start, like, transitioning into more of uh, YouTube offline, like, recording content. Or if I want to start streaming a little bit more on YouTube. Or just treat it as a... These keys are terrible that I'm doing. Or I just want to just treat it like, you know, as it's a blip and things will pick up. But I have this bad habit of kind of comparing... I keep... Man, these... I'm playing so bad. I'm really sorry, Kaizen. Um, I don't know if I want to keep going on this pathline and just hoping that things are going to get better or not. Um, a lot of the... A lot of some of the other content creators I've noticed. Some have stopped streaming. Uh, but it feels like a lot of the ones that... Some of them are doing quite well still so there's still definitely still room for to grow or well, some have been doing like pretty well but like kept steady whereas I feel like I'm just kind of falling off um yeah I feel like I'm falling off honestly if I'm gonna be completely honest I feel like I'm completely getting ratioed and stuff so I don't know what kind of direction I want to start taking stuff, and I think I might need to start making a change. And I don't know what that change is. A little bit scary, um, but I think it's a kick up the butt in terms of like, of everything. Nice. Nice. Okay, it's a shame we couldn't get land that Q on Samira there. She was a bit too far. But yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like um, entering into kind of scarier times now because the one of the things that I had like that was in my safety net was this Twitch ads incentive revenue program. And just like the last couple of months, it's just been even non-existent or just it's just not been viable to, to take at all. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I'm gonna need to start thinking about some... I'm completely bugged here. I cannot move. I can actually not move. Luckily I'm Yumi and I can press W, but I could not move there. At all. Just try and block any Karma Q coming out. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the future entails for me, or where my content's going to be, or if I'm going to be doing content, or what. I honestly don't know. It's um, 
It's something that I need to figure out. And um, hopefully I'll have an answer sooner rather than later. So yeah. But another news, I picked up a new game today. <laughs> there was this uh, business uh, simulator game that I picked up on Steam. That for some reason caught my eye. It, it was in like top 10 of uh, Steam top sellers. And then it was like top 4. And now it's like top 3. So I might give that game. Apparently that game is pretty fun to play. Apparently it's like a GTA uh, The Sims kind of version without the guns I guess. I don't know. But I might try that out. That sounds like it could be some fun. And I've definitely been trying to like play other games on stream and stuff recently. Like I've been playing more Age of Empires and more Valorant and things like that. But um, I don't know. I don't think I do that very well. Also, I hate it when I'm like kind of bad at competitive games and then I've got people watching me do it. I know that's like the kind of the realm of streaming at least anyway, but I just kind of feel like I'm constantly judged and um, I don't like that. Like I don't like being bad um, and then kind of broadcasting that I'm bad. It's not, <laughs> it doesn't feel great. So. Yeah, at least like with League, I can just kind of just pick it up, play it. Most of you guys seem to like me, uh, me playing it, and I'm not that bad at it. Does the wife game at all? Yeah, she still plays like WoW, uh, as like a super super casual. I don't really want to play World of Warcraft anymore. I've got some, some basically TLDR. Some guild drama happened, and I ended up falling out with a couple of people that I kind of thought like they liked me but I don't know I think I don't know TLDR I got kind of mistreated in a guild that I was invited to by a viewer that I regarded as a as a friend and I kind of like I don't know whenever I like even think about World of Warcraft I just I get like a yucky feeling about it so I don't think I'll be playing like WoW anytime soon to be honest like I was playing that game quite a lot in um in November, December. And I made some good YouTube videos on that actually. Some of the best videos I did last year were actually because of World of Warcraft. So maybe maybe that's a signal that, you know, I'm actually kind of good at making like MMO content. It's just that I need to dive into that world a little bit more maybe. I don't know, but I think a lot of people seem to like the WoW stuff that I was doing and the guides. I seem to be generally pretty decent at making guide stuff, so. But I'm kind of getting bored making League of Legends guides, if I'm honest. And also it's kind of super unstable right now. Like I, Riot doesn't seem to know what they want to do with the. With the support stuff right now. Lamal at that Viega, by the way. Um, so it's like if I make a guide, it feels like the next patch it could just completely all change because it's just they don't. I don't feel like they know what they want to do with the support role. And I think I'm gonna be blunt. I'm not generally in, overly enjoying the support role. I think the support role is in the worst condition it's been in since I've played it. This we're in a worse state, I think, than. The Ardent Sons of Meta. I, I like the Ardent. I didn't, well, saying I like the Ardent Sons of Meta is probably kind of a, maybe strong of a word to say, but like, it, was, it wasn't that bad, I don't think. I think the situation we're in right now where it's like enchanters are basically, unless you're playing Yumi, maybe Sona. And it's just, it's just like I, I moved into the support role to play casters and it's just like it feels it feels like that's been taken away from me. Maybe I'll enjoy playing Milio when he gets released to make some stuff about him, but it, it does feel pretty bad. I mean, I, I know I can play the tanks. I know my thrash can generally be pretty good, you know, and 
It's, but I don't enjoy playing those. I, I find them okay to play, but like I don't like enjoy playing those really and on a whole. Nothing compared to like having a really strong. I feel I feel better winning a Nami game than bit winning a, a Thresh game. What about mid lane? Um, I've always kind of thought about like moving into a different role or playing a different role temporarily. The the, the 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 issue with me playing other roles is is that it has the same effect when I play other games, as particularly on stream or on YouTube or whatever. If I make anything other than support content, and honestly, in some cases, if I make anything else other than support enchanter slash mage content, then the views kind of plummet quite heavily. Now that's a me problem probably more than anything, um, but. It's just something that I'm going to have to get used to in terms of like pivoting to different content, wherever it's a different role, different game, or something else entirely different. Um, I'm going to have to get used to having the dip in viewers for a good amount of time until potentially it could go up. It might not go up after that. There's no guarantee. Everything is a risk. Um... But I feel like doing what I'm doing is like being on a sinking ship and my arms are getting tired with the buckets of water, honestly. Uh, I don't know what I'm building. I'm kind of not paying attention much. Um, but yeah, I feel like the last couple of years after COVID, I've been like trying to scoop out the water out of the boat as much as possible. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'm nearing the end of that, and uh, it does kind of feel like it, I might be ending, coming to a slow end to an era of what I'm doing, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm just rambling on, but um, yeah, I do feel like I'm probably going to need to make some slight change in my content in order to carry on doing what I'm enjoying, which is playing video games. And making you guys listen to me for a living. So I don't know if it's a platform issue. I don't know if it's a content issue. Probably is a content issue if I'm completely honest. Um, so I kind of need to figure out. I was thinking about maybe educating myself in video editing a little bit more. Um, I can do like the basic stuff. But I was thinking about picking up the costly subscription of Adobe. And um, spending a good amount of time learning that in order to make some edited content myself. Because I used to pay an editor to make some of the YouTube videos that I was doing, but it costs too much. And the guy was the guy made some like decent stuff, but it didn't actually increase the view account and stuff. But I feel like with some of the other video game things, like if I were to not play League, I think it would have to be at least a little bit edited and condensed down. Um, so, as a name, I mean, this is always going to be like the back of my head, at least the last couple of years anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm also kind of just hoping at some point that there's going to be a competitive online game that I will just fall in love with again and just make content about that. There's a game called Evercore Heroes that I'm kind of hoping will tickle my brain in that regard. And... Um, make me want to make more content again. I feel like every time I've made guide content for a game, like I did a couple for Omega Strikers and that, that kind of did okay as well. And then with the WoW stuff, I kind of did okay. It's just, maybe I just need to make guides <laughs> rather than making content of playthroughs or just playing champions or whatever. Maybe my, maybe my, my niche is just making guides of random stuff. So maybe that's what I need to focus on. So I don't know. I'm not like overly like, concerned like financial. I don't like as I said in terms of like the Twitch revenue was like the lowest it's ever been um, since I got partnered. But in terms of like a financial place, I'm not worried about it right now. Um, at the moment, fortunately, I'm like in an okay place where I can like handle this for. A little while because I did earn a little bit more revenue the previous years 
sometimes I can get lucky with sponsorships. I did two, I did two two hour sponsorships for mobile games. Uh, in that month, I think it was in that month, which actually equated to more than my Twitch revenue for that month. So, um, kind of depends how lucky I get with like those kind of like stream sponsorships. I was meant to have something for this month, but that fell through. Um, but you know, I'm okay. I'm in an okay place. I will continue making content. I want to make content. Um, I just need to figure out what that kind of content is. So yeah. Anyway, Yumi game. That's what you came here for in the first place, right? Was a Yumi game. I uh, missed a few cues in lane. I was mainly just chatting. It's kind of funny that the Kaiser's dad watches my videos. It's pretty cool. Hi, Kaiser's dad. If you're around, if you're, if you're, if, if Tama Godchi is your son, then you should be proud of your son. He did very well that game. I was just chilling. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I will finish off this series. Don't you worry. We will finish off this Unranked Diamond series. Um, and I will do my best to keep providing more video stuffs. Yay.